Everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a green screen with your camera to Share Factory. So if you're doing some sort of commentary or something like that, and you want to add this in, well, it's relatively easy. What you want to do is press the X button somewhere on your timeline that you want to add it, and then go to Add Track 2. Then you can see my camera. Hello. Now let's press Triangle. Then you can see my camera taking up pretty much the entire screen. And we have two options on the bottom here. We have X or square. So we can press X and we can go to normal. We can go to a cutout. This is the cutout. Then we have green screen. So I don't have a green screen in the background right now, but I do have one in the other room. But when we set up our green screen, we can press square now. And we can go to pan and zoom. You can zoom in on your face a little bit more. We have 300% zoom being the furthest. So yeah, it goes in pretty far. So if your green screen is you know not very big or something, make sure you zoom it in. Otherwise, it's just gonna it's not gonna take up the entire screen, and there's gonna be a lot of space. So just zoom it in directly on your face. Then I only need like a green screen right here or over there, and you can kind of see like parts of this is gonna cut out because and there must be some sort of like green light or something coming in my room. So set it up where you want in terms of the zoom. Then we can press uh, square again, and we can go to settings. And here we have the tolerance and feathering. So if it's not exactly how it is supposed to be, we can use a little bit more tolerance. And you can see this is cutting out most of my screen, even though I don't have a green screen. And then we have feathering. Not entirely sure what that does, but you can see it kind of just makes it a little bit more apparent there. So let's just maximize this and go back to this. Then we have the backdrop. So we can add a backdrop if we uh, just don't want our gameplay to be the backdrop. So uh, I don't know, let's do this one. So you, you can kind of see where it gets cut out. It sh there should be a screenshot there, even though I don't see it. So it doesn't seem to be working very well. So you can delete it or replace it. So now let's go to the camera tuning. This is gonna be sharpness, contrast, I wonder if I uh, change the hue here, if it's going to work a little bit better. Yeah, it's not going to be as green. Maybe I had my hue up. So you can see my, my head goes to green uh, when I turn up the hue because the hue is green. <laughs> see, when this stops, it's going to be green. So just adjust the hue if your face keeps becoming super green or it cuts out your face. Just lower the hue a little bit more. And the same thing for uh, the saturation. This is just going to make all the colors a little bit more vibrant. So you can see my face is going to be more, uh, I don't know, like orange maybe. I usually like this around 65 and this one at 50. So this looks good. So we went through all the editing options for the camera on here. And then we got one more setting on here. We have white screen. So I don't know, maybe you have a super bright light in front of you or something like this. So this one's going to be a little bit more. Um, straightforward and less changing. Uh, we can go to settings right here. Go to tolerance. So you can see like half my face is white other than my skin is just because of the sunlight. And that white sunlight can be used as a green screen. So if I were to face a certain direction or maybe you got a really bright light on you, something like that, or maybe you have a white wall behind you. Well, you can use that as a way to cut out an image. So I got a really white wall over there. I could just sit against that wall and use it as a, a white screen. So it doesn't have to be specifically green. It can be a different color. So we do have the option for green screen in here. I wonder if we could use a uh, blue screen too. It says the chroma key on the top. I wonder if we could change that. But we can go ahead and try something else. We got feathering. It's very easy to set up. So let's just do cutout, for example. And then we can go back to our normal gameplay. And let's just record something now. Press X on your here and go to record video. And then press record. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Uh, so we'll pretend that everything is a green screen. And I'm using it right now since I got the cutout on there. I believe we can edit this cutout too. So it's not just my face heavenly floating above my gameplay. All right, let's save the commentary. <laughs> I 
And then we can go back. Go back to my main timeline. And so I have it in the upper right side of the screen right now. We can change that position if we press square and go to edit track two. And let's press square again, go to PIP layout. And we can do full screen. Let's do this full screen. This is what it looks like full screen. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's right in the center of the screen. Or like maybe in the bottom right or something like that. You can just do PIP layout and change the position. And it's very easy. And you can do the clip volume too if you want it louder or not. And then here's PIP setting and the filter. So just, yeah, look at all these different options to add a green screen. And get it set up how you actually want it. And you should be good to go. So hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. If did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.